for joining us for live after the game. I'm Marie Mortera. We'll start with the exchange of close to 2000 prisoners. News 3, the first to report the union representing prison officers raising questions about the safety of the move. There are hours to travel between Ely State Prison and Indian Springs. That's 30 miles from Las Vegas. Now a town closer to the prison is also on high alert. As Kristen Drummer reports, they want answers from the state. Several people who live here in Indian Springs tell me they were not aware of NDOC's plans. Now that's concerning them since the town is about 10 minutes away from High Desert State Prison, which is planned to become a maximum security institution. I'm not very happy about it. I think they should be. I think they need to tell people when they're going to make a drastic change like this. Pushback on the prison transition. Some residents in Indian Springs questioning transparency with the Nevada Department of Corrections. Nobody notifies this town when this sort of thing goes down. Is it upsetting? Yes. Dean Brooks lives here and volunteers on the town board. We've had prison breaks before over the years, but our last one came right here to our truck stops. He wants to know why NDOC did not inform them about plans to move all maximum security prisoners from Ely State Prison, roughly four hours north, to High Desert State Prison, the state's largest correctional facility, around 10 miles away from this community of about 1,000 residents. Are they going to up the guards? Are they going to up this, uh, the whole condition that they have here to protect us from them? NDOC sending a release about the swap of inmates between the two prisons, claiming the change aims to ensure the highest risk offenders be housed where staffing levels are greater. High Desert is also a newer facility with higher perimeter security standards. Maximum security is not determined necessarily by the physical structures, but by the inmates that you have. Paul Lunkwitz, the president for the union that represents correctional officers. There are some prisons that are not that don't have the physical structures to house maximum security. OK, there, that does exist. High Desert has those physical structures in place. Lunkwitz agrees with the move, but says it's happening too fast. He's raising concerns about training, staffing, and equipment for the transportation and transition of the state's most violent offenders, even claiming certain areas at the prison remain vulnerable. Some of the physical structures need to be addressed before they start being used because they are in a bad state of repair. Back in Indian Springs. And just real people here that, that are concerned. Uncertainty among some who live here, even now questioning their future residency. Do you plan to stay here or are you now thinking twice? Um, I'm probably thinking twice now about it. I reached out to NDOC questioning why prison leaders weren't transparent with the community about this move, but no response at this time. Reporting from Indian Springs, I'm Kristen Drummond, News 3. The Department of Corrections is not disclosing when the swap is scheduled, stating it is for the safety of offenders, staff and the public. On the department's website, it shows Ely State Prison and High Desert State Prison visitation are also currently suspended. It's not clear if it's related to the move of the prisoners. Once all the offenders are relocated, Ely will transition to a medium security prison.